Hello, my name is Jorb. I love gear. If you spent any amount of time on the internet learning or reading about analog synthesizers, the name Moog will mean something to you. It might let you know for sure that the synth in front of you is going to be quality. It might remind you of this company's unmatched legacy. It might even imply a specific sound. Often, people will refer to this intangible quality that all Moog synths have, the Moog sound. But what does that really mean? When people say the Moog sound, what are they trying to say? Wikipedia mentions it in a paragraph about the filter, which it also describes as rich, juicy, and fat. And there is the Moog sound down to the filter being overdriven. Universal Audio seems to agree that it's in the filter, crediting the sound to the 24 decibel per octave slope of the classic Moog ladder filter, and in overdrive it describes as musically pleasing. I asked you at the time, my 2200 subscribers, if you thought the Moog sound is something real, and well, 82 of you said yes, yes it is, 65 think it doesn't mean anything at all. So what I plan on doing today is just listening. I'll be sitting right here, blindfolded, with what looks to be a child's Easter project, while a friend of mine plays each of those synthesizers in a random order, and I will guess simply if I hear the sound of a Moog or not. The synths we have are the Mother 32, the Sub 37, and the Realistic Concertmate MG1, which was manufactured by Moog. Uh, and then for the others, we have a Korg Arp Odyssey, Novation Space Station 2, and Roland's Techno Classic, the SH-101. Now, full disclosure, we tried this once already, and the audio turned out bad, and I got really fixated on guessing models, and the episode wasn't good or interesting, so I scrapped it, and I tried again. What you're about to watch is the second recording, the second session of this idea. So we're going to separate it into two tests. One is not overdriven, and one is, and it's going to be a filter sweep, add a little resonance, a filter sweep, add a little resonance, a filter sweep. And then we'll do all six in a random order, clean, we'll do all six in a random order, driven. If you're subscribed, thanks for sticking around. If you aren't, I encourage you to watch as much of this as you enjoy. Leave a like if you like it, leave a dislike if you don't. If you aren't subscribed and you end up enjoying this video, I encourage you to look at the rest of my channel and see if there's anything else of value to you. Uh, in my eyes, if you found this by browsing or searching, you clicked on it and you made it to the point where I get to say this, you've already proven that I and this content have value to you. So thank you. Uh, worth bringing up, I am very familiar with these synths on their own, um, and I know generalized qualities about all of them, or at least I'd like to think that I do. I suppose that's about to be put on the test, but just for full disclosure, I am familiar with all the synths on the table. So, is there actually a Moog sound? Can I, a hobby synthesist, tell the difference? Stick around and find out. Can we make predictions? Yeah. Okay. So out of the six, how many do you think, I, I mean, to be clear, you're just going for Moog, not Moog. Correct. I will not be guessing models at all. I think max, you get three out of the six. I, th I think that's what I expect. I think I expect to get half it's of them. It's just a coin flip. And I expect to do better when we're overdriving them, not when they're clean. I think that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. If I get three out of six, I'll feel great. <laughs> Yeah, guess, How what many do you mean? Moogs are there? Three. <laughs> what qualifies as a Moog? <laughs> Mother 32? Oh, God. The, sub 37? The one is a Moog. Yeah. That's why. I keep looking at that one officially. <laughs> I'm like, where's the third Moog? Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. Anyway, cool. um, synth number one. Let me do another take. <laughs> synth number one. Yeah, go right in. Yeah. I, that's hard. I'm going to say that's not a Moog. Okay. I'm going to say it's not a Moog. Can I explain why? No. <laughs> it's just. I was going to say, yeah, you can explain why. It didn't feel right. Synth number two. Yep. 
I'm going to say not a mode. <laughs> okay. He's laughing like it was a bad thing to say. Oh, God. Oh. I might change my mind on that one later. We'll keep going. I might ask you to, to go between a couple and compare them at the end. Is that okay? Is that allowed? That Dude, no. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like at the end, if I'm like, can you play one and then four? No, absolutely not. You don't not. think so? I don't think that's within the rules of the competition. <laughs> it's got to be isolated? Okay. Yeah. I think yeah, that's fair. I'll, yeah. take that, I'll take that boundary. Yeah. Synth number three. I think that is a Moog. Okay. I think that is a Moog. All right, George. See, it's hard to gauge your responses. Dude, I am hitting the fucking... I, you know what I should have gotten? Big green button. It says Moog. Smack that motherfucker. Every time hey, how many fucking props it. do we need for this video? <laughs> 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 we got, got the eye cover uh, thing. We got... Here. Like it's a fucking Bill Nye Buttons, episode. whiteboards. <laughs> I'm going to be on a tricycle <laughs> at the end of it. Synth number four. I'm going to say that's a Moog. <laughs> <laughs> I've said two each now, right? Two each, correct. Okay. I'm, I, I feel like I'll, I'll misplace the base station. I'm, I'm almost certain I'll get that wrong. Okay. Okay. But Fair enough. I, I, yeah, because I, it sounds fucking dope. But past that, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure how well I'll get any of the other ones. I mean, your eyes are covered, man. Yeah. You I, can't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> Damn it, bro. <laughs> you go up for six, Doc? <laughs> Do you delete the channel if at over six? If I go over six, bro, I ice it all. It's all I'm done. I think we should put some stakes on it. I know we're halfway through, but I think it's time to put some stakes <laughs> no. on it, dude. Synth number five. Synth number five. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> hard that one's really really hard that one's really really hard mm -hmm. can you just hold it open for a sec this is your one <laughs> you ready yeah only because I don't want you to go over six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that's not a Moog. Okay. Oh, I. Sh oh, fuck. I'm nervous about that one, dude. I mean, and to just describe what I'm listening for, beef. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the the Moog sound is just beef. The Moog sound is beef. Well, fuck. We cracked the code, dude. P fat with a ph, mm. creamy, mm. beefy, mm. creamy, dreamy, and oh so steamy. Um. <laughs> Synth number six. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Moog. I'm gonna say Moog. He had to, and and he did. <laughs> That's not only based on what I guessed already, but because when you put the resonance on, it sounded big. I'm nervous about this, to be honest. Okay, you got them all set in stone. Will you show the camera? Actually, will you hand it to me while I'm still blindfolded? <laughs> and I'll 
get it in frame with my fucking face. Just like big thumbs up so I look like a dweeb when I got them all fucking wrong. Yeah. Is this the front? Okay, now you're looking at it. Hold on. Like here, this? here. You you put your hands down in like a way that you would normally hold it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now just squeeze. It's yeah. facing away from you. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Yep, there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. That's okay. a beautiful shot. There you go. <laughs> and now you can you, now you can sit normally okay. again and All right. You ready? Yep. I'm going to look <laughs> dude nice job i was impressed six for six that's what they call you the synth daddy dude dude synth daddy <laughs> jord man i, I know believe, i can't believe that and to think all we had to do is stage it <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> i'm just joking that? I can't believe. I honestly cannot believe that. No, it it, it was it was impressive. It was impressive, <laughs> um, and I was trying to psych you out a little bit. <laughs> Dude, um, oh, I can't believe that. So when we got to five, I was like, "Here we fucking go." That's the make or break. That is the moment. And you got it. I I can't believe it. This didn't happen the first time we tried this. Correctly. If I if I was guessing models, which I shouldn't, and I would have thought that two and three would be. Flipped yeah. there, yeah. Because I think the base station sounds fucking good. And of course, and I don't know if you'll keep this in or not, but the reason I will. we're redoing this is because the first one you did, you were guessing models, which up. way complicated mm -hmm. the game. Well, yeah. now it's yeah. like, am I good at this? Because I did it once, right? But I, I tried my best when I set them up today to not like fixate on it. Yeah. Fuck, I'm really proud. <laughs> 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 like, boys, subs, I'm really fucking proud. I didn't expect that. Yeah, I mean, at I all. didn't either, man. No. I okay. thought you were going 0 for 6 for sure. I really, yeah. I don't, see, well, what if I get it wrong on the overdrive part now? I think that confirms that it was all horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have guessed that I would get 6 out of 6. I'm incredibly pleased with myself, to be honest. In fact, I wanted the opposite to be true. To be totally transparent, what I wanted was to not know. I wanted to hear them all as good, or I, I wanted to not be able to tell which ones were which, uh, because that's uh, the sort of point I like to preach, since all, for the most part, sound good these days and have for a long time, uh, and you don't need a specific brand. I think they all sound good. I'll say that again, but uh, I really didn't expect this. I really didn't expect to be buying into the intangibles <laughs> the way I am sitting out here, the creaminess, the richness, the fatness, whatever you want to call it. Um, at least to my ears and with these specific boards that I'm pretty familiar with, um, it seems like I can tell the difference. As much as I would like to, it's impossible for me to not sort of process of elimination the models as I go. So there has to be some element of my familiarity with these specific keyboards. I have to be thinking about models. There's no way I couldn't be thinking about models or saying, yeah, I feel like I heard the sub 37 already. That helps me decide later on. As much as I wish, I don't think that I can totally close that off. So. There's your little disclaimer. <laughs> okay, the second test will be the same. We'll do the same. We'll do filter sweeps, turning up resonance a little bit each time. Only this time, things are overdriven, and I'll tell you which ones exactly are. Enjoy. <laughs> it looks fucking fake, right? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, which, to be honest, is not the point I wanted to make. I wanted to prove that shit just sounds good. It's overdrive on the filter explicitly for the sub-37 the Base Station 2, and the Arp Odyssey, and it's a little, bo little bit more volume on the other three, the MG1, which does distort uh, at higher volumes, the Mother 32, and the um, SH-101, which shouldn't break up any more, more volume. But that, so to be clear, it's like two are and one isn't for each group, uh, the Moog and the not Moog. So if I just look for listen for what's overdrive overdriven, which I should be able to hear, my guesses should still be fifty percent accurate. Cool, cool. I'm ready. I'm ready. Overdrive test synth number one. I... My first thought is that sounds really tubby. That's definitely one of the ones that is overdriven. I'm gonna say not a Moog. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna say not a Moog. It, because <laughs> it sounds, it's a good driven sound, and that makes me think 
that it's see I'm I'm, think, I'm thinking models a little bit, but I'll allow, I'll allow myself for this one. That that's either the sub thirty seven or the base station two. I think that was not a mug because I think it was the base station. I will allow right. myself that rationale. All right, man. All right, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're uh, fucking, all fucking right, idiot. buddy. This guy doesn't know shit about synthesizers. <laughs> What's this guy? <laughs> What's this guy know about synthesizers? You know, really? he's only got fucking forty <laughs> of them in a closet <laughs> in his basement. <laughs> Synth number two. Can you do that last one just a little slower? I think that is a mode. Yep. <laughs> oh god, dude! I'm actually okay. I'm like, uh, yeah, I think that is a mode. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Synth number three. I think that one's definitely overdriven. See, now I am thinking models when I say that. Ah, oh God. <laughs> this one. I'm. Oh God. Can you give me the last filter sweep? Slow. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that, oh, I'm going to say that was a Moog. I'm really, really, really not sure about that one. I'm really, really not sure about that one. It's definitely one of the ones that can overdrive, I think. I'll cut that out if I'm wrong, though. Because <laughs> that's embarrassing. I mean, you've done this every time so far. This isn't me trying to get in your head. Okay, okay. Uh, so I just had to, like, clarify with myself that I'm going <laughs> to accidentally telling you what's what. Um, your initial impressions are, like, the most fun. Like, uh, just yeah. being like, oh, Moog, not Moog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like, I like you uh, squirming a little bit. Yeah. But... The yeah, the process of elimination, the like, you know that it, then it gets that's into a fun. different that's game. Less yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. less fun. Yeah, yeah. So I, I like what you're doing. Okay. Um, you're, I'm trying to right. keep it like that. I'm trying to like hear it and then just right blast it out. Yeah, because that's right. what I want to prove. Synth number four. I think that's a Moog. Okay. <laughs> I'm this and the, the the one previous. I'm very nervous about. Well, let us proceed. Let us proceed. Get the fight on the fight. <laughs> I think that's a mug. Okay. <laughs> this one again was hard, but I'm 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 going for that first impression. I okay, that one I'm nervous about that one. To be clear, you've been nervous about the last thing. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get this on the record. At, at, at this point, we're nervous about all of them, let's right? Let's get this on the record. Hey man, let me just say something. <laughs> There's no it. reason to be nervous. All okay. Right? Dude, that that dude, you saying that makes me think I've gotten them all wrong. When you're over five, yeah. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> when you're on. over five, it's just like rip the band-aid like, off, you know? Dude, yeah, yeah. Dude, the boys will understand. The subs will understand. Synthesize on number six. <laughs> That's the take. That's the fucking take. Let's dude. go.
That one's really hard. What, this is number five or number six? six? This is number six. Don't tell me what I've guessed already. I'm going to say not a Moog. Is that three and three? Did I guess three and three? I will tell you that... Hold on. Let me... Let me again, I have to like try so hard not to spoil this. Okay, okay, okay. You guessed four Moog. No, yeah, yeah. Four okay. and then two non. I'm actually totally fine with that. So... I will say, I'll, I'll give you one change if you want to do a correction. I think it would be fun, do a bonus round, and I'll say whether or not you called a Moog, not Moog. Okay. And then you can, uh, at the end, you can just give me a number uh -huh. of one that you want to change. Okay, yeah, I All like right. this. Dude, look at you, Pat Stajak over here. <laughs> <laughs> More of a Vanna White, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let him rip. Let him rip. I'll play the ones you you guessed were Moogs. Okay. Because one of them is not. Yeah. So it's let's easier, do that. It's way easier yeah. than the. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Let me eliminate the one out of the four. Number three. Number four. Dude, so I this is either like a chance for like ultimate redemption, or I look like a fucking tool. Right? I know, I know. I mean, it either <laughs> it either increases your score or literally makes it worse, Stop. which is fun. <laughs> yeah. You can. I I'll give you. You can just. You can just not if you don't want to change one. Also. I. This is such a fun opportunity. Yeah. I think this is. I, I think th it is a good. I, I think it's a great idea. I think you should shoot your shot, man. Good job off the cuff. Can you give me? Can you do, do it one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I want to. I think I want to change four. Okay. I think I want to change four. <laughs> Dude, if that's like the sub thirty-seven, I'm gonna throw up. I mean that. <laughs> How's that? That's good. Dude, I'm not going straight fighting. Are you? Are, are, are those glasses fogged? What's on your glasses right now? Is that fog? Oh, it's fog. Oh, Here, my God. Okay. Dude, I'm nervous. <gasps> you did pretty damn good, dude. <laughs> you, you, you did screw yourself on the I got on the four swap. mixed up? So on, on four... So when hey, that's we, pretty good. Yeah, when we did the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the bonus round, yeah. I guess, is what you could call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was curious if you would be able to point if you would be able to guess like okay three is the great job by the way is the one that I said was a Moog but not a Moog. Can I say I was looking for the ARP? Yeah, oh, it, yeah. I fi I figured you uh -huh. were close, um, but yeah. Th then <laughs> I didn't erase your original check because you did get right, the mother right, right. thirty two correct. I appreciate that, but uh, yeah, you did. No, you well, did the boys will see the full. Wrong. The yeah. boys will see the full experience. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. If I had changed number three. That would that's I had to give you the shot. You did. I would not have and God bless you for it. And I would not have done that at all unless you were five or six. <laughs> I was like <laughs> like if you were over six, I would have been like, uh -huh. all right, just show, you know. Yeah, let him rip. But that's I'm really proud of that too. I, I was listening for the ARP because I know the ARP is distortion, but not that much on mm -hmm. the switch. Mm -hmm. And the Mother 32 has none like that you can dial in, but I think it is overdriven a little bit just from the mixer. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm very happy that that's the one that I got wrong because I can justify it now after the fact and sound <laughs> like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you. I mean, you were right when you were like, I hope that's not the sub 37. Yeah. Uh, on that yeah. on number four. Yeah. So it wasn't that <laughs> good. Um, but this is not bad. Again, I did intentionally try to fuck you over by doing base station first. You you did, and that was hard. And that was hard. Because I like that. I mentioned if I have to go, you know, process yeah. of eliminate. But yep. the base station, 
I knew it was a part of me was looking for one that sounded really good, but mm-hmm. wouldn't be a mug. But yeah, I'm super proud of this. Yeah, I'm still I'm still curious, like whether subconsciously you can pick up on the controls. I, I no, I think Chase, you did a wonderful job. Hey, man, being my operator today. Hey, being your Vanna White. Being my van, being my pet Sajak. I'm very proud of this. To get, we'll call it ten, ten and a half. I, I mean, I, I call it like the initial is what counts. Eleven out of twelve. We'll go with it. Um, we'll go with it. I, I fell it was... for the let's make a deal swap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was good. I appreciate your help again. Yeah, no worries, man. Dude, the subs are gonna be mad about something. I just can't wait to find out what. <laughs> uh, I think I think this justifiably proves that you like synths. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing, the only thing that this is proven definitively. I love synthesizers. Let's do some closing thoughts here, Chase. Yeah. Do you think that because I got most of them, nearly all of them, correct? Yeah. Is there a Moog sound, and can I detect it? Well, the first thing is that if there's a Wikipedia page about it, like you know, I'm inclined, <laughs> <laughs> I'm inclined to believe it <laughs> that it's real. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm I'm not like skeptical of the Moog sound up front. Mm-hmm. Um, do I know much about synths? No. <laughs> do I have a Moog? Yes. Yeah. Um, I I think I might do this with you in the chair. Ooh, that would be fun. Do you think that would be fun? Yeah. Cuz you're, you know, you got good ears, but I don't you're not a synth guy. Yeah. I mean, you could play like fucking barn animals and stuff and I could I guess That's pig, a cow. <laughs> That's a mug. That's a mug. That's I, a chicken. I I'm going to look at the camera and say to the subs or to the viewers who aren't subscribed if they want to see that. They want to see Chase who does not know synth. Guess if that's a mug. He's a musician, but he's not a synthesist. Is that a mug? Is that not a mug? We'll probably. <laughs> there's a real term for us. That's a word. That's a word. We'll follow up. I'll follow up on that. We'll put that one in the backlog. Yeah. Next time I don't have any other good Overwhelmingly no. <laughs> Next Please. time I don't have any good ideas, we'll do that one. <laughs> Please don't subject us to Chasey <laughs> Boys' guesses. <laughs> but Chase, thanks again. Hey, man. Subs, thanks for watching. You know I'm glad to be here. Part I'm of glad the Jorb you're here family. Too. Part of the Jorb family, dude. Your name's on the. You get your own email address soon. <laughs> Chase at JorbLovesGear.com. Yeah, and I do get that checked. Just mailed to my place. Yeah, okay. yeah, actually, yeah. It might, you know, don't cash it for another couple of weeks because not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get my hundred bucks from YouTube until I make a hundred bucks from YouTube, which hasn't happened yet. Oh, so. man. Well, it'll happen a lot faster than I make a hundred bucks from Spotify. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So four or five, if you want to give me that last, let's make a deal swap of the ones that are overdriven. I cannot believe this either. This to me is more surprising and in a lot of ways i'm glad the ones i the two that i got wrong the korg because i think the korg sounds great and the mother 32 which on all sorts of forums people will say it doesn't quite have the moog sound i cannot believe <laughs> that i in some way reinforced that today but i certainly did so that is everything i really hope you enjoyed it i do plan on uh having a synth normie chase who was so helpful this time do the exact same thing that i did and i'll play them for him and we'll see if you can tell the difference I think that'll be interesting. Uh, Other ones where I would like to be in the chair. I also want to see if I can identify the Juno in a group of three or four analog polysynths with chorus on them. I'm worried that in sitting down to line up the patches, I'll really, really get familiar with those sounds uh, and kind of spoil myself. So I'm going to try and think of other ways to do that and the right way to implement it. But that's all I would say. My name's Jorb. I love gear. You must too if you made it this far. I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.